So I'm going to go back, uh, do an old, uh, very, um, very much cited uh, journal, journal article reg regarding MTHFR and depression. Um, <clears throat> MTHFR has, is uh, uh, methyl uh, tetrahydrofolate, methylene tetrahydrofolate. It's an enzyme that's shown to have some genetic variation uh, in the uh, 677 area in 1298. Two different locations, about 600 base pairs apart. Um, <clears throat> when you get variation in there, you can get significant decrease in um, metabolism associated with the B vitamins, uh, especially B9 and B12, folate. Um, there's concern about that leading to uh, to anemia, to inflammation. <clears throat> in the mental health area, and this is the, the study that created a lot of momentum in that, in that area, it also is uh, seen as a potential um, impact on the mon what's called the monoamine neurotransmitters. Serotonin, um, noradrenaline, uh, dopamine, all big, uh, big neurotransmitters, especially associated with um, depression. So uh, I'll go over the study for just a, in just a minute. But uh, first, an introduction. My name is Ford Brewer, F-O-R-D-B-R-E-W-E-R, -E PrevMed, heart attack, stroke, uh, cancer, disability prevention. Obviously, um, MTHFR has gotten a lot of attention, still continues to get attention, especially in the mental health area. Uh, again, this is one of the reasons. And let's go real quick over this uh, um, area. What you'll see is BH4 uh, listed. If you look that up, you'll see a lot of the, again, the more modern uh, look at this uh, methylation process. You get, you're going from uh, phenylalanine, tyrosine, um, folic acid in the diet, uh, <clears throat> doing uh, methylation, getting, uh, as an outcome, serotonin, uh, dopamine, and the norepinephrine. So again, this is very important in terms of uh, several neurotransmitters. Methylamine is involved here at this point, and um, melatonin, again, key to, uh, to our sleep wake cycle and sleep is huge for heart attack, stroke prevention, as well as, uh, dementia and senility prevention, let alone, <coughs> um, other mental health issues such as depression. Now, let's just go through some details on this study real quick. Um, they noted in their original survey that well, let me just give you some background. It's Brit British Medical Journal. Um, I believe the date was uh, 2000. So it's, again, like I said, it's old school. It was a while back. What was interesting about this study was that they looked at um, folate uh, and homocysteine indicators, both in the serum, in the red blood cells, and in the CSF, the cerebrospinal fluid. They actually even took a population of controls and a population of people with hospitalized significant depression and found increased homocysteine, indicating that the uh, methylation process was probably not working, and an inverse relationship, in other words, decreased folate and... Um, monoamine transmitters. That's the overall uh, detail, of, I mean, the overall 30,000 foot uh, summary of the study. I'll go into some detail, but you can see why that was a big study in terms of the momentum in this area. Um, <clears throat> it, it, obviously, it's been in their review, it's been suggested that plasma homocysteine is an indicator of methylation deficiency for uh, folate and, and uh, vitamin B12. Uh, <clears throat> what they did was they took 46 inpatients, severe depression, 
took uh, blood counts, serum, and red cell folate. Um, vitamin B12, uh, plasma homocysteine, and in 28 of those patients, cerebrospinal fluid. Actually did a spinal tap to look at these indicators in the cerebrospinal fluid. And yes, guess what they found? Uh, they also, as I said, looked at the monoamine neurotransmitters associated with uh, uh, serotonin, uh, noradrenaline, and dopamine. Here's what they found. 24 depressed patients had raised serum homocysteine. And of those patients that had the raised serum homocysteine, they had decreased values. In other words, inverse relationship with... Uh, serum red cell CSF uh, folate, adenosyl methionine, and all three monoamine metabolites. So again, clear evidence that there were problems with the methylation process um, metabolism going on in their, in their body. Now, <clears throat> conclusion, using total uh, plasma homocysteine, uh, they've identified a subgroup, and again, it was over half of these people with severe depression having uh, clear evidence of problems with uh, methylation metabolism. Uh, anything else? Uh, let me just look real quick. I've got some other things underlined in this study, but I don't really think, I think we've covered the major issues. Thank you for your attention.